So the first question for, I guess anyone can take the question, right? Yeah. So what GIS platform do you use? Uh, currently, we are using ArcGIS as the platform. Esri. Yeah, ArcGIS. And From we're looking in the Bar Municipality into uh, open platforms, but currently we're using uh, Esri platforms, but uh, still studying how to move on into the open, open uh, so source currently, platforms. Currently, um, DM is using Esri platform, but you're also. Um, Bayanat, going yeah. towards the open platform. No, Bayanat, we are mainly using the uh, Esri ArcGIS platform. Esri ArcGIS, okay. So, question number two. Is this data available for government and private companies? Let me answer this one. Uh, we are in Dubai municipality. We have, as I said, the Geo Dubai initiative. This Geo Dubai, anyone from the private companies, government, semi-government developers can join the community. Once they are in the community of Geo Dubai, they have an access to all of the data available based on the policies, uh, of course, but we, we take the burden from them and help them with providing them with all data, mostly. So it is available. Excellent. So I guess we can see then, everything. Then if you can see it over here, so I think we just I'll sit down here. so we can all look sit. at the same screen. We, we are using the technology, but not the full one. So, so, so we right, have so one technology right here, and there's another one over there. Yeah, so let, right. let me ask the, the third question. So is this um, data available locally, or do you host it on the cloud? Um, For us, it's based on uh, the customer itself. If they request to have it on the cloud, it can be on the cloud, but mainly most of the request is to have it on uh, local servers on the, on, the, on each entity. Okay. I can see a lot of questions yes. calling. Okay. A lot of questions so. coming. <laughs> Let me remove some of those that's so, already been answered. Um, so the next one is... Is Bayana uh, a government entity? We are entity. semi-government entity. Okay. Well, it's just a technical one. The next one, what is the maximum speed that you drive a car? I think it depends on which mobile mapping system that you to use, but yeah. And an MX-9, uh, the maximum speed is 110 km oh, okay. per hour, so. Yeah, but again, it depends on um, the, the details of data as requested. Correct, yeah. So who can take the next question? Can you explain how do you capture underground data and integrate them in the model. You want me to answer? <laughs> the underground uh, data, we have a device with our partner. We are using currently that device to, uh, it is the same as the MMS device. It gives bulls, but because of the salty of UAE um, sands, uh, we have to have a special geologist to understand the, qual the, the quality of, of the data that it, it, it gets. And based on that data, you can create the 3D models for the underground. The, the, the next one is for Maita. So you said you did a diploma, and that's, that's probably a simple one for you, I think. Okay. Are you using an AI in any of geospatial projects? Yes, as I said, we're using it to update the base map, as I, as I mentioned in my presentation, this is, this is one of the projects. The second one is we're extracting features from the satellite imageries and drone image, imageries. The, I can't announce the name of the project yet because it, it, is, it wasn't officially announced, but it is related to the green area and uh, some of the buildings in, in Dubai. I guess the second one is again for you, uh, Maita. What is DM participation based on GIS in smart city? Of course, any smart city will depend on data, geospatial data. So uh, our role in GIS center in Dubai municipality is to provide an accurate, up-to-date a base map of the city that can be used to work on the analytics of uh, smart cities and uh, all of these yani, aspects of the uh, smart city. So they depend on our base map. 
Uh, I think the next one is also for you. It's what are the benefit of joining the Geo community? Okay, once you are an enrolled as a member of Geo, Geo Dubai community, you'll be uh, accessing first of all the base map for free. Uh, you will be able to access consultations. So an expert. We have partners with Esri Ordnance Survey, Trample, and other big companies, uh, international big companies. So we'll be able to access those. Uh, uh, those uh, consultations. Lice, we provide licenses, we provide trainings for people that are not uh, really aware of GIS or softwares. We do provide uh, some um, uh, services such as the drone and the uh, a, a mobile mapping for our community members and an access to all of the geospatial events in Dubai and outside Dubai too. So this is the benefits. So okay. I guess so the I, next question can be uh, I think you can ask so Amal, um, what challenges do you face handling huge point cloud? Um, you need like a huge space. Uh, the speed of the servers you have it. Once you have a, a good computer, speed computer with, how, with a huge space on it, um, it can't be handled. I think we just add a little bit more on that from the uh, Trimble side. Um, we use, for example, the um, MX-9. Because MX-9 captures a lot of data, up to 2 million points per yeah. second, plus it has 3D uh, cameras and then planar cameras and all that. So there's a lot of data and information that this device captures. But then again, data is gold, data is the future, data is oil, right? Um, so yes, uh, there's a lot of data, but nowadays computers are very fast and there's a lot of um, storage also that becoming cheaper and cheaper mm -hmm. also. So another question, can we scan LiDAR data in dark or under tunnel? This is a technical one, then probably Dennis, you can answer it. So. can answer this question. Yes, we yes can so do. answer is yes. Um, I think um, in, in the MX-9 case, so you have the 360 camera, so if you, uh, if you are under the tunnel, of course, you cannot get the images, though those will be dark. So that means you will not have colorized point cloud, but yeah, uh, you can use the laser data. Um, how can higher educational institutions from around the globe collaborate to train students? In Dubai Municipality, we have a lot of uh, MOUs between us and other uh, uh, educational institutes. We, we get uh, access to those uh, professionals or professors uh, to train our uh, employees and sometimes we invite school students, university students to help them uh, also understand more about the geospatial uh, science. Okay. Just Same. before we go on to the next question, by the way, I can see that there's a lot of questions here. Um, I know you're all hungry like me, but can we stay for a little bit more time or are we okay? Yeah. You are okay. Thanks okay. a lot. All right, Nike, so I, I think I just want to add some more thing on the education side. So Trimble um, runs a program called TUPP. It's a Trimble University Partnership Program and we work with certain uh, organizations, government or uh, educational institutions. Um, as a partnership and we have a special uh, pricing for products. Uh, also the softwares which are offered, some of those are actually free of cost. The same as we as Bayanat, we uh, receive couples of students on, on the summer time or on their last uh, year of graduations and most of them they get hired on, on Bayanat as well. Okay. Uh, what is the time frame to build a model of a low-rise three to four flow building? And does it have the capability to represent building services? So, time frame? Uh, it depends on what details you need. Um, again, um, if, if you're using a software like SketchUp, you could design that kind of building um, the, the exterior part, I would say, in a couple of hours. Uh, it depends on what details that you need internally and, and what are the tools that you use to collect those informations. Um, so, shall we go to what's the size of workforce needed for data collection and processing? 
for a small area it is like two to three days but it depends on on the details of the area that it is requested because after the two three days you have to analyze and you have to texture the data so sometimes it takes months if it is um, like small range of, uh, of area so that means that um Depending on the area that yeah, you could Yeah, it depends uh, on area and cover. it depends on the level of details requested. Right. Uh, and that can be covered with, uh, mm -hmm. let's say, a couple of guys to, it could go, depending on yeah. what details that you need to yeah. extract, uh, it could go up to 10 people yes. or so. Okay. So, what's next? Uh, what is the... Accuracy of underground. The accuracy of underground data. It depends on uh, the, the the area itself, because um, on on some uh, in some location in UAE you will not be able to read uh, correct uh, data, as I said, due to the the salty on uh, on the sand itself. So we need first to to check if the data is readable or not. So. There's a question for Amal. Do you take also private jobs uh, as in Abu Dhabi, uh, meaning do services for private companies? Yeah, yeah, we do. We do for private and uh, governments. Okay. What type of drones do, do you, you use in the, in the data? data uh, we use micro drones. We're using DJI Matrix 600 Pro and Dubai Misfalti. Next. So how is the information parameters assigned to assets in uh, a scan model? So we are talking about uh, the features and attributes. I think this is coming from an anonymous person. So we, we probably need to get some more information yeah. on yep. this. Yep. So let's keep that. We will get back to you on that one. Highlights and uh, highlight again the benefits of having 3D model and having the site information, how it will be utilized and how far it will reach the desired purpose. Who can take that? Um, mainly the 3D model, it's not only like a, a design. It gives you a, a clear, a correct data of the building, the sizes of the building. And if there is, for example, electricity capacity on the building itself, it will show you uh, where the huge density for, uh, for electricity, where is, where is the less uh, for constructions um, as a 3D model. If you are building a bridge, what will be shown from that bridge, on which level it, you will see the, the, the next building. Right. Um. Can There's a question. First one. Yeah. Can we synchronize this data directly into GIS database? Yes, we're, we're using some softwares that can uh, convert the point cloud data into uh, vector data and it is synchronized directly to the GIS database. So, so we had seen the nice video there about the feature extractions uh, mm -hmm. through, the, through the point cloud or um, also through the images. So, uh, the question probably is in line with that. Uh, can this feature automatically extract it? Yeah. And what softwares do you use? We're using Temx Pro and it is automatically uh, extracted. It, it is extracted automatically. Next. So, there is another one. Can you explain the data protection and new security development in the... Uh, oh, it's gone down. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so many questions. That's so good. many questions. Interesting. Do we have time? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I think I uh, can take a couple of those. It's, it won't finish. <laughs> the more we answer, the more questions the come. More so. <laughs> <laughs> the slide wasn't working. Tariq, so so I'll say, take one of those. On? Um, Maybe take this offline. So. What, can, what we can do perhaps is, we have all these questions in the database, so perhaps we could all do some answer and somehow we can post it somewhere. Is that, so, is that a possibility, Tarek? Yeah. yeah. We can keep those and if uh, you would like to be contacted specifically, maybe you can leave your email, don't just give it as anonymous, and definitely the team will get back to you with Correct, so we could even um, keep this um, uh, site open until perhaps the end of the day 
And then if you have questions later on, you can still post them. And then we can collectively answer it and then yeah. post it. Sure. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. one more thing on the Slido is that uh, you would see that there is a place where you can add your email address. So if you put in your email address, we can get back to you with the more details and answers. All right. Okay. Yep. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I appreciate it.